So this is just going to start off simple with adding a few little keyframes. Just hit Shift T to set some keyframes. Bring up the timeline and just move our ball around however we want. And I'm just going to copy those first ones and then just paste them at the end. We're just going to group that. And then we pop that group inside a duplicator and change the distribution to point. And say so if we want trails of say 15. And if we hit play now, nothing's happening. So what we're going to do is click on the shape time offset, add in a stagger. And now we've got the motion trailing behind it perfectly. To make that more apparent, we can just click in, open up, open that up, click on index to color, and fill it up. So our index of color has just got a purple and it's blending into like an orange one. There's always one more than one way to tie a knot and that's pretty true on cavalry as well. So I'm sure there's other ways of doing this. One thing you may want to do uh, if there's aliasing issues is just bring in the radius here and um, just by putting another stagger on it. So that's 100 and this is just going to be 98 and again it's just making the tail of those ones a little bit smaller we'll make that more apparent for you so one issue you might come into is if you put this duplicator into another duplicator and i'll just put this into a random you can see this is not what we were wanting uh, we kind of wanted the same thing, but just scattered over. So what you do is bring your first duplicator up again, right click, go advanced and unclick use incoming index. And that'll fix that problem for you. Again, like once we're in here, we can then just play with, uh, play with our rotation and we can play with the shape time offset. And yeah, so you can kind of create some pretty cool um, and fairly complex effects with that. The way this is done, if I um, is that I have had one animation, and I have a hand animated it, adjusted those curves, cleaned it up a little bit, and I've had it finish right in the center of the composition and then when i've put it in a duplicator i've used the the grid layout um the grid layout here just a six by six so that when this all comes together it looks all complex and crazy but really it's just one animation um offset time i have put in a, an array into the rotation down here a shape rotation There's probably another way of doing that, but that's just how my mind works. And to finish it all off, I just put a dither effect on it as well. And then here I'm just going to type in zero. And over here, I'll type in zero as well. And just hit control A to bring all that into view. Right click and Bezier. So again, we just group this and then put that group into an array. We're just going to click on rotation, add a value array. And oops. and then you've just got them all coming into different ways put a offset onto that as well or a, a random or a stagger a random is probably a better option um, for this and 
and it's not too hard to just to up those numbers and increase the complexity of it in different ways.